Hello, my name is Vitaly and welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's begin! In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how we got into the hotel pre-opening project. Since we got to the project in a late stage, there were lots of equipment already pre-installed, such as CCTV was already in place, guest wireless internet, uh, there were cable drops into the different offices, as well as the VoIP telephony and PBX station. So our task was to evaluate all pre-installed equipment and determine what we can do with that in order to make it work all together. Also, furthermore, we had to configure it between each other and just to make sure that the office network is separate from everything else and to be PCI compliant. So our journey started from evaluating the layout of the property. The hotel was located on a beach partially, so it had three separate buildings. One building was on the island side of the property and then there were two more buildings located on the beach side of the property. The main phone room and the server room was located in the main side as well as the executive office such as the general manager, controller, revenue manager, engineering department, uh, housekeeping department and front desk and front office. There also were a couple outlets which further became lobby bar and coffee shop. The beach building, the five-story building, pretty much didn't have anything. Then there was a tiki bar right between two beach buildings and the last little beach building, two-story building, had also a little office in there. So our tasks were also survey the connection and explore all connections, all devices which been pre-installed and configure them in order to work properly. Once we got into the server room, we noticed already pre-installed switches, some ubiquity equipment, there was distribution Aruba switch, there was PBX device from APG brand, which is pretty nice. Plus there were three servers. One server was appeared to be the future uh, domain controller and the file server. Yeah, I know, don't, don't say anything about having two roles in one. Then there was EMS server, property management system server, that was a room master, not a secret. And there was another Kia access control server, which would work with key making machines and etc. The entire patch panel was unlabeled, therefore we had no idea where the all connections would go, which offices outlets. So we had to test out entire patch panel in order to determine where all connections are going and properly label them in order to work furtherly. All four buildings, we're talking about main building, beach building, sticky bar and uh, two-story building were connected by fiber cable between all of them. So, we started to make the layouts for all offices, started with the executive office. In the executive office, we would have the general manager's office, controller office, sales department, engineering department, front office manager, revenue manager. Then we would move to the front desk, would have two spots in there. We would move to housekeeping department. There would be a workplace for housekeeping manager and housekeeping supervisor. Each place would have one workstation and one phone front desk would have two workstations, two printers, two RFID machines for making the room keys and two pay terminals. Hobby bar would have two POS stations in there with two pay terminals and one phone. The cafe would have two POS terminals with two pay stations and one phone as well. Each bar would have two POS terminals with two pay stations and one phone as well. So we found out that the housekeeping lobby bar, cafe, beach cafe, and other building where there was no additional line for VoIP services. Corporate office told that two networks, VoIP network and office network must be separate and no VLANs are to be used. This is because of PCI compliance. To approach general manager, so he asked us if there's any other solution to make those phones running through VPN. Then he said, just do it! Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.